Hey, what's up guys? Today, we are going to learn about carbonium ion or carbocations, right? So, let's get started. Here is the picture of an organic molecule. You know that this is a covalent bond and we know that in covalent bond, uh, we'll have two electron. Here is here here are the two electron, but due to the heterolytic fusion of this bond, we'll get this and this right. This species is positive and this species is negative. Uh, here, Z is more electronegative than carbon right. For you know that electronegativity means. Uh, the power to attack electron so z has the more power to attack electron that is z will be negative and carbon will be positive right and such type of species species organic species where carbon is positive okay is known as carbon carbonium ion or carbocations well carbocations or carbonium ions so what is the structure of this carbocation or carbonium ion you know that uh, there this carbon is sp2 hybridized that is why this is planar and will have a mtp orbital where any nucleophile can attack right so you so now you can uh, say that uh, in carbonium, in carbocation, carbon is sp2, carbon is sp2 hybridized, and in carbonium, uh, in carbonium ion or carbocation, there uh, there is a MTP orbital where nucleophile nucle nucleophile can attack. I hope it is clear to you. Okay. Now my question to you is that how can you name the carbonium ions right to name the carbonium ions we have to just add carbonium ion after parent alkyl group you know that if you deduct a hydrogen from an alkane then you will get corresponding alkyl group like from methane you will get methyl radical from ethane you will get ethyl radical right so if you put positive charge on carbon in methyl radical then you will get methyl carbonium ion and in such manner you will get ethyl carbonium ion okay so there is no difficulty here you can understand this uh, easily well just remember this now we have to understand about the stability of carbonium ion you know that this carbon is 3 degree that is tertiary because this carbon has three alkyl group right and this carbon is 2 degree that is this carbon has two uh, alkyl group on the other hand uh, this carbon is one degree or primary because this carbon has one alkyl group well this is tertiary uh, carbonium ion this is secondary carbonium ion and this is primary carbonium ion you know that the stability of carbonium ions will be determined by resonance effect and inductive effect there will be two factors here one is inductive effect and another is resonance effect i will explain later what is resonance effect but to give you preliminary idea i will discuss uh, the stability of uh, 3 degree, 2 degree and 1 degree carbon ion, carbonium ion on that uh, on depending on the inductive effect. You know that this alkyl group is a electron pump, 
pumping group. As a result, this alkyl group will try to provide electron uh, to this positively charged carbon, right? Well, here three alkyl group will try to satisfy this carbon and here two alkyl group will try to satisfy this carbon, right? Here we have to, I have to add a positive charge, right? Uh, most probably uh, uh, it, it's a uh, slip of pen so I have to here add here a positive charge and this carbon will be satisfied by only one alkyl group that is the power of this three alkyl group here will be higher than this and this so the stability of tertiary carbonium ion will be higher than secondary and the power of secondary the stability of the secondary carbonium ion will be higher than primary uh, carbonium ion right so electron releasing group right alkyl group is a electron releasing group electron releasing group that is plus i groups right this 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 group will show tendency to to show uh, plus i uh, plus uh, inductive effect electro releasing group stabilize carbonium ions by partial neutralization of the positive charge uh, on carbon right already i have explained it however you know that this is propyl carbonium ion right and this is benzyl carbonium ion okay the stability of these two compound can be explained by resonance right so what is resonance in resonance atom will not move right but electron must move in resonance atom will not move but electron will move here no electro uh, here there is no scope for uh, for the movement of electron so here no resonance will will happen but in in this structure there is a uh, in this structure uh, resonance uh, will happen right and the the and this compound will be more stable that, than this compound right so that's uh, all about carbonium ion i hope you have gained something thank you for being this video be well